Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Ninth Prayer for Friday, March the 13th. It's the third week in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 92, and Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 11. And please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. It is a good thing to give thanks to our God and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Psalm 92, and please recite together with me. It is a good thing to give thanks to our God and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to show forth your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound, for you have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hand. O oh, beloved, how great are your works, and your thoughts are very deep. A brute knows not, neither does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, they shall be destroyed forever. But you are most high forevermore. For your enemies shall perish, all evildoers shall be scattered. But my horn you exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eyes shall see my desires worked upon my enemies, and my ears shall hear of the doom of the wicked that rise against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in your house shall flourish in your courts, O God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. To show that you are upright, you are my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. It is a good thing to give thanks to our God and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. What then are we to say? Should we continue in sin in order that grace may abound? By no means, how can we who died to sin go on living in it? 
Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be destroyed, and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. And we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart and forgive our sins and offenses that your light may show forth from us. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church and all people. O God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Dear God, we triumph in the works of your hands and celebrate, for you are the rock of truth and justice, and we exalt you morning, noon, and night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal Word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. 